it's been a, about a month since my last uh, video that I posted uh, so uh, there has been a lot of changes uh, around my uh, garden and I wanted to make a video um, pretty much an update video on the uh, tomatoes uh, peppers and all the other plants that I'm growing around the house um, pep um, tomatoes are doing I would say they are doing excellent I've been uh, removing almost every single uh, sucker that I can find like this one right here uh, this is just a waste of energy for the plant so I've been removing it removing pretty much I would say probably about a 90% because uh, they hide very well very hard to store spot them but um, tomatoes are doing excellent um, I should uh, um, enter the uh, competition uh, on the Cali Kim is, is, um, is um, participating in about you know who can grow the uh, largest uh, uh, tomato I think I can probably uh, beat them because uh, I'm growing the um, uh, I think the uh, varieties that uh, they grow pretty large uh, but I don't know how to enter that competition I know it's already too late for me to uh, to enter but just uh, just to show off I would like to at least um, be part of that competition so I can show these guys uh, uh, what I'm growing so if you guys know how to uh, enter uh, on that uh, um, competition, let me know. Uh, Cali Kim is doing it, and some other, I think, uh, uh, Refuge, I forgot, I forgot the name of that lady's uh, um, <coughs> website is, but um, it's a couple of gardeners out there that are participating, and um, I would love to do, to do so because I believe, I believe I can, I can beat them uh, and I'll show you why I say that maybe in another month or so I'll show you uh, the uh, progress of my uh, super large uh, tomatoes and uh, and you will see what I'm talking about also growing basil, Italian basil also the uh, uh, Thai basil more tomatoes in the background as you can see I have removed all the lower uh, leaves from these plants uh, not only I've been removing the suckers but I've also been removing the uh, uh, lower leaves just to uh, make sure to ensure that the uh, plant uh, remains uh, healthy uh, look at all these tomatoes guys I'm telling you I think I should enter that uh, competition uh, to see who can grow the uh, largest uh, tomato I think I can beat them but um, I, need, I need to find out how to uh, be part of that just for just to, uh, to for encouragement to other gardeners and to myself and to keep doing this what you see in front of you um, is the uh, uh, sun golden tomato for the first time I'm growing it and these uh, plants for what I hear they put out lots of tomatoes but I've been removing the suckers on this one as well so I'm not gonna be seeing as many tomatoes as other gardeners um, see on their plants because I want to keep it uh, I want to control the um, growth of the uh, suckers and leaves. I want to f uh, focus only on producing the uh, fruit. All right, let me see what else I got on the other side. Another plant. Actually, on this rice bed, I'm going to be able to show you three plants, three different plants that I have never grown before. And the first one is, check this out. That is celery. It was hard for me to start it from seed inside my grow tent, but it was worth it. Check it out. 
I've been harvesting already, as you can see. I've been using it. Celery is expensive nowadays. It's like they charge you about four dollars for each bunch. And but that was not the purpose of why I did that. It's just that I've been wanting to grow it for the longest time. And I thought it was gonna be hard, but it's actually pretty easy. You just have to have a lot of pay patience. They grow very slow. Also, I'm growing for the first time the Mexican honey onion. Also, started from seed inside my grow tent. Look at that. All of that right there are Mexican honey onions. I don't know how, how big they get, but um, I have to give it a try. This is cilantro. I scattered, scattered, scattered a lot of seed from all over the yard, but I don't like to grow cilantro because every time it goes to flower, look at see, you have to keep doing this, otherwise you lose the uh, production. Another plant that I'm growing for the first time, first one was the celery, second Mexican, Mexican onions, and third is right here. These guys right here are uh, chives. For the first time, I'm growing chives, also from seed. I don't know if I was supposed to uh, separate them, but uh, I just planted them as they came up, came out of the uh, cells from inside my uh, grow tent. I don't know if I was supposed to separate them or not, but there they are: chives, Mexican onions and celery and right next to it is my tomatoes and peppers so this little, se little section right here I have enough plants to make myself a nice uh, salsa just like calicum <laughs> another rice bed more tomatoes now these guys are the ones that I uh, but if, I, if they allow me to uh, enter the uh, competition, these are the ones that I'm going to be um, entering because these are the uh, yellow uh, brandy wine and they grow super, super large. Last year, uh, the biggest one I, I harvested was about a pound and a half. It was huge. You guys can watch my previous videos. But it was the, uh, the red uh, brandy wine. This is actually the uh, yellow brandy wine but they grow about the same size now for the first time i'm also growing uh, strawberries now strawberries these plants are very young so i've been um, removing the uh, the flowers like this one right here i don't want for these uh, plants to um, concentrate on producing fruit uh, rather i want them to concentrate on producing uh, deep uh, roots even if I have to sacrifice uh, the uh, flowers the strawberries you can see here but um, hopefully uh, next year it's gonna be uh, should be able to enjoy my strawberries but for now I just have to remove the flowers sorry guys Boom. Got lost. all right let me see what else we got brandy wine tomato now this are, these are the um, radishes uh, pod, pod, uh, seed pods that I showed on the previous video as you can see they are gonna be uh, I'm gonna be harvesting uh, that seed very soon as soon as the uh, weather change start uh, getting hotter uh, these guys are gonna uh, dry out and I'm gonna ext extract the other uh, seeds uh, from these pods uh, and look at this man don't you love them look at these guys right here this is my nemesis right here aphids look at that let me see if I can focus hard to focus but this is what I do with them I hate them and there's more right here Anyways, so this is the, uh, I'm going to be harvesting these uh, seeds very soon. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be able to clear this uh, bed. 
so I can plant some uh, okras. But uh, over the time being, um, I'm enjoying myself. Let me show you what else I got. To the left here, uh, now the, this raised bed is the one that I have. Uh, I was really having some good hopes for this raised bed this year. But for some reason, it's not doing really good. I, th I think it's because it's been getting hammered uh, with uh, the wind, very cold wind that we've been getting for the past month. And um, but I really hope they recover because um, this uh, is the bed uh, that gave that gave me lots of uh, tomatoes last year. But this year it has been the worst. That's too bad. Because I had uh, I had uh, interplanted uh, zinnias, one in between each plant, just so they can get uh, uh, enough uh, pollination from the bee from the bees. But um, this bed is not doing really good. It has flowers and it has uh, some tomatoes, but they're not progressing as the uh, the other ones on the other side. Oh, let me show you guys something real quick. Now, take a look at this tomato leaf right here. Look at that. Look at my hand. And look at this leaf right here. Now, this is the uh, brandy wine uh, tomato plants that I've been talking about that supposedly is going to give me the largest tomato this year. And you can tell because look at this leaf. So I uh, just wanted to show you that real quick. All right, let's continue with this tour. More uh, ba uh, Italian basil. Italian basil. Purple basil right there. All from seed. Okay, so this is the another side of the uh, yard. I'm very grateful to, um, to have all this uh, growing space. Not bad for someone who lives in a, mo a mobile home. Usually, um, they, uh, their lots are very small, and um, and sometimes the regular the re there are regulations when it comes to growing, but they don't bother me. You know, I keep the yard very clean, and uh, I don't bother anybody. So uh, I'm very grateful to have all this growing space. Anyways, so this is another raised bed where I'm growing more um, sun gold tomato. At the beginning, it was very hard for me to identify them because uh, it's the first time I grow them. And the tomato plants, they almost look identical, one, one, one another. But uh, this is it right here. This is the um, sun gold tomato. So far, it's doing really good. And I also, also interplanted uh, zinnias in between. And also, uh, on the same breast bed, I have for the first time, my first cucumber. This is the uh, Japanese uh, uh, variety. And so far, let me see if I can give you a comparison with my hand. This is my very first cucumber that I'm gonna be harvesting very soon. I'm gonna let this one grow a little bit more. Right now is pushing almost, uh, what do you say, about, that's about a foot. I'm gonna let it grow another four inches so I can start harvest, uh, enjoying my first cucumber of the year. There's one more coming up there. And one more towards the top. And look at that, look at this trellis. This thing is gonna grow huge. Tomatoes climbing up the trellis as well. And there's another cucumber here hiding back there. I really hope these uh, tomato plants don't shade them out too much. But look at that. Oh wow, look at that. Two more right there. Nice. Oh wow. I had more than what I expected. Nice. And uh, let me see if I can focus. All right, that's better. Look at that. Japanese cucumber for the first time and say goodbye to the Armenian cucumbers. They don't produce very well. 
So I'm not gonna be wasting my time growing them. Instead, oh, there's another one right there. Oh wow, well. this one is getting jammed inside the uh, trellis. I'll do something about it right now. All right, let's see what else we got.